Jeff Darrow's first book, the Parker series books. Adaptation of the crime noir genre, paperback, pulp fiction-y genre, Parker's series. Um, they made some movies, Tom Cruise. Actually, the first one's pretty good. This is great stuff. Darwin Cook. If you don't know who Darwin Cook is, we're gonna talk about, we're gonna have to do New Frontier. We'll talk about that, but I like to talk not about the superhero stuff so much. I want to talk about other stuff that I think is just brilliant. You have this. I'm sure you all have this. Why am I even talking? You have this, but if you don't, go get it. IDW did it again. Look, IDW, say what you will. Those guys know how to put some books together in a dress, okay? They know what they're doing, and they got a good selection of good stuff. Uh, Darwin Cook came out with this book. This is the first one called The Hunter. He did other ones, um, Outfit, The Score, Slayground. We're going to talk about this guy because I read this. I was blown away. I love the size. I really want a big, like, absolute edition because I heard that he, that Darwin works on a bigger, bigger size, kind of like Frank Miller, and I want to see those because uh, I did a kind of recreation of one, uh, the classic, you know, 10 by 15, and that's not the right size. Someone said that he actually goes big. So let's dive into this guy because this is really good. Darwin Cook, The Hunter, you can't go wrong. Come on, let's do this. Okay, everybody, let's talk about Darwin Cook. Let's check this out. First off, I really love this dress. I love the way it's got this buckram kind of um, cover to it. I love this embossed little silhouette kind of character here um just it's just got style dude and it's just like i don't know i'm assuming that darwin is like super involved in all the design ideas for this um uh, if i'm not if i'm wrong then i'm wrong but whoever did it it's really good so uh again check out these in in pages it's you know it's that classic 60s style look to it and it's just really well done i just love it gives you right away you know the era right you know what this is about very clean the lettering i mean it's just it's just good dude i mean what am i gonna say i'm gonna sit here scott dumnier dude this guy is the man he's also the man who does the artist edition books okay so if you like those big honking full-size original page stuff it's scott he's the guy he knows what he's doing scott you know, I'm here, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, helping you out here. I'm pimping you stuff here. So hook me up. Give me a copy of something, okay? <laughs> um, so yeah, Richard Stark, he's the original writer of these series of books. And um, Darwin started doing some adaptions. And so he adapted. And let's just look at this right here. Wonderful page, New York City. You know where we're at. You know what this is like. Clearly he's doing some really cool uh, reference photography with some processing and it works perfectly. It's really good. And those guys who say like, you shouldn't trace, you don't know nothing, okay? Because artists trace, that's what you do. Uh, Michelangelo, tra everyone traces and that's just the way it is. So just get over it. I try to get over it. It took me a while, but I'm over it now. So trace to your heart's content. We gotta talk about a lot of things. I mean, the biggest thing is the style. And in the art of comics, we're gonna talk a lot about visuals because I don't wanna go into too much on the plots and themes just because I don't wanna spoil it for you. You know, I will at times, but just as far as the plot and story, this is a classic, you know, crime noir pulp, okay? So there, done, figure that out. You know, guy down his luck, gets mixed up, crazy dame, battles fighting a couple twists you know that's that's the gist but look at this guy and his cars he's using these wonderful brushes it's got these dew tone he's got a cream colored paper with this um kind of a a bluish gray you know maybe like a like a gray aqua or something a little bit of green in there too 
really well done and the lettering is great. Uh, you're gonna see stuff with bubbles, without, and notice how that, that turns into like a bubble. It's just like, look at that right there. You know, your eye goes right to it. It's just designed, you know, just dude, I can't come up with this. This is like so good. He doesn't use borders, so we're not gonna have borders in this. We're gonna use, the, the, the gutters are just gonna be the, the color of the paper. You know, very kind of animated, animation style um, art, but great positioning of the camera and, and composition in the page. I mean, he is one of the best. Darwin Cook is considered, uh, God rest his soul, one of the best guys in the in the modern age of comics. And uh, this is one of his finest achievements. Um, he's done some other stuff we'll definitely go into, but this is, I think, where he really shines. Um, I don't know how quick he was. I don't know how long he took to do these pages, but um, definitely there's a lot of thought um, in these. And and so he draws, you know, he's got this classic kind of woman style. You know, um, Bruce, Tim, uh, Tim Bruce, there's a couple of different artists that kind of have this kind of old retro look to it. Um, I think he is probably the best at it. And I love his hands too. They're big, they're blocky. They're squared off. Uh, Miller does that too now in like the Sin City, his more modern stuff. So he's got a little bit of a kind of animation look to it. Um, but man, it works so well. And just a lot of this, look, is no dialogue. So you're just zipping through, look at this, four pages, no dialogue. You're zipping through this, five pages. Oh, look at that. Six pages, no dialogue. Now we get something, right? Now we're going to have some stuff going on. And great typography, use of like these different fonts and signs and logos and and uh, look at that's a great that's a great little pose right there with the hand. Just so much is communicated right there in that praise, right? Like he's not to be trifled with. He's all set up. He's cleaned up. He looks sharp. He knows where he is. He's the head honcho. You know, he's got the French cuff shirt. Brilliant stuff. Casino looked things. His use of smoke, lighting, and then this is great too. You know, that's really great here. Uh, just the contrast. That is a great panel. That's that's good stuff. Use of repetition. Her so you're gonna get a lot of negative space with him. A lot of shape design. Shape, right? Triangle, shape, legs. No lot, no holding lines, just the shape blacked in. You know, I'm thinking, this is the kind of stuff I'm trying to learn from, because I want to do some of this with my book, uh, but I'm using screen tones. So it's using the tones maybe is now the, the, the shape line the divider. Um, but I definitely want to use, I, I'm, my stuff is not as um, clean and simple as his though. I wish it was, I and mean, I guess that would just mean I need to do more of that style, and I just haven't. Um, love the, I love this kind of stuff too. These like almost outline, these like um, these like just the looks of these objects and how the the shadow is cast on these things. And I do love the, you know, the the folds and wrinkles of the bed sheets and the curtains. And then when there's action, go look at this. It's going from here to then this. This extreme, you know. And then her, look at her. She's just exasperated and kind of defeated. You know, look how far she goes down. She's just like almost laying down. You know. It's just really well done. This is a great shot too. Look at the, the lines in this. The positioning. I can sit here and we can just go page by page how this is a master class in storytelling, design, all that stuff. And um, yeah, it's no joke. I mean, just looking at this again, I think, man, I gotta reread all these because you just learn so much. A lot of changes in backgrounds. Um, and he's not a big background heavy guy. He'll put the backgrounds in when he needs to. Here he's doing some kind of like a screen tone type of look, you know. Different, changed it up. And then he changes up the panels here too. 
now he's doing kind of more of a more like an outline of like what's happening you know he's talking about the caper how they're going to get it done what's the plan right here's the plan of the caper and kind of breaks it down in that way and here no word balloons and then no no blocks on the narr narration just we're just going to put it in we're not even going to like change the font color we're going to keep it dark and you're just going to have to figure it out and have to read it here it's very unusual normally you would you would pop this out but he's not he's just like forget about it great stuff this is a great great book and this was cheap i think it's around 20 maybe 25 at the most this is hardcover though so you can probably get a the soft covers too, and they probably they might even have a collection. I don't know. I really want to get a bigger size though, because um, it's something to really kind of analyze. Um, great book. This is it. I don't want to spend too much on this stuff and share like spoil it, but if you haven't read this book, Darwin Cook, I would. You don't have to start with with Hunter. You can start. You can get any of them. They all are just separate like novels. Um, but look at the face look at that that just the highlight the lighting choices all this stuff the lighting again great stuff almost to the point where it's almost abstract or it's just getting really close to like a cubist kind of look to things but with the style and the the positioning and angling of the camera it works so well from a story perspective it's so hyper stylized i mean look at this right here I just flipped to this. Look at this. This is just brilliant stuff. Anyway, uh, it makes me very envious and jealous and all that stuff. Wonderful book. Go check it out. IDW. Check out my Patreon, guys. See what's going on over there. I've got a lot of new comics there. I do a daily strip there. Um, so there's a lot of fun things that you can see. It's all A lot of that is free. So check it out. Uh, link and subscribe to this channel because I have a lot more comics coming up the pipe and talking about uh, the business of comics. So thanks a lot. Have a great day, you guys.